Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to this webinar organized by Technoteca. Today, uh, I and my colleague Davide will, will present you the new features of CMDB 3.3.1. If you have some uh, some questions during our presentation, please uh, write this uh, write your questions you know, on the chat uh, that you can find on the right, and then uh, we will answer you after our uh, presentation. And uh, now I start uh, talking about you uh, of uh, one of the main features released uh, with the new version. Uh, which is the possibility to create views with a visual configurator. Until now, the administrators could uh, create only views from filters and from SQL functions. But uh, the limitation of uh, the, the first case is that the resulting view has only a subset of uh, uh, items of the same class or process. And the limitation of the second case is that the administrator must uh, access the database to create the SQL functions. With uh, the new version uh, of, uh, this, of the, our CMD build, administrators can configure view, views directly from the administration module, configuring the classes or the processes from where get the data attributes to display, filters to apply, and uh, the data sorting, as well configuring the layout of the resulting data. Furthermore, every user can also create its own views from the management module. But uh, let's see how uh, this, uh, this uh, new feature works. Let me present you uh, the CMDB, just a moment. Oh. Okay, here you can see the, um, here I am on, on, a, on a view. This, uh, I've created a view with the assets in use of, uh, uh, that, uh, that are um, inside my uh, CMDB. You can see that, uh, for each, uh, for each row, I have asset data and also uh, I have the location information. But uh, I, oh, I, for each uh, asset, I have the building uh, with the address and the floor with its information and the room with other information. But now let's see how I configure this, uh, this view. First of all, we can see if I go on uh, admin module that uh, we have added a new voice uh, in, view in view menu, sorry, uh, which is from join. Here I've created my, my view and now let's see how it's easy to configure for one administrator uh, a new view. First of all, you have to assign a name and a description. The description can be translated as uh, other uh, elements inside our CMD build. And then we have to choose the class. When we edit a view, we cannot uh, change the master class, but uh, when we create a new view, we can choose the class from where start. We can choose a class or a process. Then, in the, the next step, we have to configure uh, which are the, cl the classes or the processes involved in our, uh, in our view. And here I, I start my, my, my view from configuration items and then I choose the domains for, uh, for, uh, to, to show room, to show the floors and to show the building information. As you can see, here we, uh, we can configure the domains uh, with a tree and then uh, it's easy for us to choose the right domain to, uh, to show. And uh, we can also uh, uh, choose the join type. We can choose uh, outer join or inner join. By default, the choose is outer join. Then in the next step, 
we can configure the pill sets uh, of uh, of our uh, to how group our attributes the attributes that we, we want to display and here i've created two two groups that are assets data and location information uh, it's easy it's uh, how we create groups for classes or processes and we can also choose if to display open or closed. Then in the next step, for each class that we have choose on the previous step, we can choose which attributes to display. For example, here I, uh, uh, I select the assigné for the CI, the brand, the code, the delivery date, the model, the serial number, the supplier and the warranty and code and date, sorry. And then uh, I selected for the room, the code, the name and the use for this um, uh, of, the, of the room. Then for the floor, I, I selected the code, the level and the name. And then for the building, I selected the address, the city, the code, the complex, the name, the postcode and the region. I, I can also when I choose my uh, when I'm choosing my attributes to override them some information. For example, uh, for my rooms, uh, for example, here in when I selected the room, I've also changed the description because uh, we have the code of the CI, and then here I renamed the code with room code. And then I have assigned to a group location. Another choice that I can do uh, when I configure the attributes is if display uh, which attributes to display on the grid and also in the reduced grid. You can see that here I've uh, assigned for each uh, for every attribute that I've selected, I've assigned a group. Then I have choose uh, some attributes to display on the grid, for example, the assigné, the code, and uh, what else, uh, the serial number, the name of uh, the room, then uh, the name of the floor, and uh, the name of the building. Perfect. Then the next step of the configuration is the um, which filter to apply to how our, uh, to filter the, the results because we can also filter results. Here I've um, I filter, uh, I've created a filter with the uh, CI state uh, which uh, is uh, in use. Then I'm, I want to display only the asset which have, has the state in use. As you can see here, I, the state uh, is not an attribute that I've uh, chosen before. Then here I can choose every attribute uh, of the class of the involved classes or processes. Okay. Um, then if I go on the next uh, step, I can choose the uh, sorting properties to use for, uh, to sort the data. In this case, uh, I choose the building code, the floor code, the room code, and the serial number. Then, when I, I finished, I configured my view, I can also configure the, the layout of my view. As you can see here, I have the, 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 two, uh, the two field sets, the two groups, the asset data and the location, and here I have configured a custom layout uh, to display my information. Good. Now, if I go back on the on the management module, uh, let me go back just a moment. Okay, here, here I have. I'm on the management module on my view that I added on the on the menu you can see that we have the list of the uh, all 
assets in use with their information the location informate with information sorry the complex the building the address and the floor with the also information of the level the room with code and the use of that room from here i can also filter for example uh, if i filter adam I get the information, the only the rows uh, with uh, with uh, matches the the search filter Adam. I can also apply the filters. From here, I can filter only uh, with uh, only the attributes involved in my view. Okay, for example, I can search for building equals, and I can search. Good, and uh, I can also print the information or save the uh, preferences of, of the grid because I can uh, choose uh, which column to show and which column to hide. How I told you before, this feature is also uh, available for the users then each user can create its own view and uh, for each user if a user creates uh, a view only he can uh, access that view for example now i want to create one view to uh, to display the list of the orga organizational units with uh, the, the data also of its manager. Then I go on the card on the, on the class organizational unit from, uh, from my management module. And then I click on the menu, the contextual menu, and I click on, the, on this item, create view. From here, I assign, I, I, um, I, I fulfill the form, for example, here UI manager, I assign a name, I can assign also a description, then I go in the next step. Uh, uh, this is the com this configuration is the uh, as uh, we saw below uh, before on the administration module. From here I can choose the relation is managed by employee. For now I uh, select only this. Then um, I don't create any group because I don't need. Uh, from here I select the code, the description, the level and the name for the organizational unit. And I want to display the code, the description and uh, the level for now and code description also in the reduced grid. And then for the employee, I will, uh, uh, I will select uh, the information of the company, the email, the first name, then last name, the mobile, the number, okay, and the state, yes. And then here I select the first name and the last name to display on, on to show on, on the grid. And yes, I think that I don't need any other field, adding any other attribute, then I go I go home and here I I select for uh, I can define a filter. Uh, for example, I want to show only the, um, the, um, the item the items uh, the organizational units that uh, has a manager which is active then this I select and then um, I want to sort by oh, organizational unit code okay then if I I click on save perfect. Um, a new view uh, will be uh, is created, and uh, you can see that uh, it is appended in the all items view um, 
menu menu and from here uh, I can see the data that uh, uh, that I have already created if I want to edit this view I can click on the three dots here on the top right and I can edit the configuration uh, the view configuration or also I, I can delete this view uh, when I'm uh, navigating on my uh, on my CMD build now here when I click on the contextual menu I can see a drop down menu with the created views then here I can access on my uh, to my view directly from the from the class uh, from the origin uh, class then this is the the how these uh, views works and uh, then now I want to leave the stage to my colleague Davide uh, who will um, uh, who will um, uh, we will ask uh, about you we will talk sorry about uh, talk about other features of the new release Hello everybody, welcome back to the webinar. Thank you, Umberto, for the presentation. I will go roughly through the, some minor changes because the main feature has been explained by him, but I will go through a couple of uh, noteworthy changes we apply to various components. Um, for example, um, a feature that has always been useful when handling a large amount of data is uh, filtering. Filtering has been possible since the first releases of uh, CMD build, but has always been lacking a little bit of functionality when handling certain type of data, for example, references and lookups. In the previous versions, uh, um, filtering those uh, attributes was restricted to just uh, a couple of um, operators or filtering operators. And now we integrated uh, some other operators that we'll showcase quickly here. For example, uh, here we have um, an instance with a list of employees and each employee has uh, assigned a company. The company is a reference to another table, and as we can see, we have various companies that start with the double T characters. If we wanted to filter the, the employees based on that attribute, now we can create a quick filter from the management interface based on the company. And as an operator, we don't have uh, only the default ones, but we have the operators on the description of the, um, of the reference. In this case, uh, we can uh, use uh, description begins with and use the double character TT. If we apply this filter, of course, we will get the list of cards uh, with those two characters at the beginning. Filtering has been uh, improved as well because now we can handle also attachment filters. Attachment filters uh, do not uh, only search in attachment metadata as they will do in the future, but also will search the content of the, um, of the attachments. As an example, um, we have here a list of suppliers. Uh, to showcase this uh, functionality for the supplier Technoteca, I've uh, created two attachments that simulate uh, uh, some invoice that has uh, the table list of items that have been bought in the past. One of these uh, um, contains uh, the word computer. And if we, were, if we were to filter the attachments to find this invoice, uh, we could type here in the search bar computer. And the system will filter the attachments and provide us with this one only, because the other one doesn't have that voice and there is only monitor and toner. This filtering is not only available in the list of attachments, but we can also create a class filter that uses uh, the filter on attachments. 
as the previous example, if we were to filter the list of cards of this class with the word computer, we would get only this result, that is the card Technoteca with at least one attachment that matches the filter. As we pre previously saw, we also improved the visualization of attachment in the interface. Now, if the DMS service that we are using supports uh, a preview, you can see here the preview, and you can also open the attachment inside the uh, browser without uh, having to download it. This can be done with uh, PNG files, with pictures, with uh, um, text files, uh, with PDFs, uh, and uh, anything supported by your DMS service. Um, another improvement that has been made in the management module is uh, the uh, regarding dashboards. Um, dashboards can uh, be a little bit uh, messy when handling a large amount of data again, because uh, here, for example, we have many lines uh, showcasing different uh, uh, things, and it's hard to analyze the charts in, in a small field. So now you can enlarge dashboards to see um, better the, the results, and you can also download uh, the uh, picture of this dashboard. Um, at least, but uh, not last, uh, we also improved a little bit the usability of uh, processes because uh, it became uh, a necessity to allow users to attach uh, files uh, and create emails in the first step of processes. This was not possible in the past. Uh, in the past, a user was forced to advance a process to a next step before um, having those functionalities allowed, and now it's possible since uh, the first uh, step of the process. Um, this uh, is uh, everything I had to showcase uh, for you today. Um, if you have any questions about what I showed and what uh, Umberto showed earlier, you can type the questions uh, in the chat uh, provided on the website, and uh, shortly we will be back uh, to answer to you. I wanted to remind you that uh, all of the features that you've seen today are available in every um, vertical solution that we provide, in both uh, um, open mint and ready to use. I also want to remind you that if you want to get in touch with us, uh, you can uh, um, follow us on Twitter at uh, cmdbuild. You can also subscribe and participate in the forum at uh, forum.cmdbuild.org, where you can ask questions or help other users uh, and participate in the community. Um, our official website is www.cmdbuild.org. We also have a newsletter where you can stay updated with uh, all of the new features that we have. And if you have any commercial questions, uh, you can write at sales at We will be back shortly to reply.